Ming Lai Wan. Today is the very first day of 2013 Modern Friends Day for Myanmar. I cannot celebrate it, so I just feel like I'm going to talk about what Modern Festival is like in Myanmar. So let's get it started. Because it's the new year, we do not like to carry all the bad things to a brand new year. So the main purpose of Splash in Water is to clean up all the sins and unlucky things from the old year to new year. And water is just the symbolization of cleaning up. Some Myanmar usually take New Year pretty seriously that they try to clean up all the debts before the New Year so that they do not need to carry the bad things to a New Year. Normally it takes 4 days. The reason I'm saying normally here is because in some years, which could be similar to the leap year of Gregorian calendar, there are 5 days of the gen. And basically those are pre the gen day, the gen day, middle of the gen day, and final the gen day. In those so called years there are two middle of the gen day, so we have more fun. Everything is closing down during the first day of work, except the very important and emergency places like hospitals, fire stations, police stations, airports and hotels. Everything like bazaars, restaurants, schools, offices, supermarkets, everything is closed down during these four days, sometimes including the fifth day, which is the New Year day itself. We can choose how we are going to have fun during the water festival. The two main choices are, are we going to throw water to others or are we getting through? If we feel like we want to play with water all day, we usually go to water throwing pandas where we can chill out and throw whoever passed through our pandas. We need to buy a ticket from water throwing panda organizers which costs around 60 US dollars for all days and 25, about 25 US dollars for your choice of day and it comes with free lunch, drink and sometimes shuttle service of course because there are very few taxis during these days and all those are too super expensive. If you like to tour around the city, we can rent a robust car without roof on it and we can go to pandas and feed the gin. I'm not sure how much it will cost because I really went out during the gym when I was in Myanmar, I usually go to pandas. Apart from those mainstream activities, there are fun and more localized activities where we can enjoy. In small streets where we cannot fit up the big pandas, parents usually set up the palm leaf pandas, which are smaller kid and innocently fun. Children usually enjoy those places and they throw water to whoever passes through their pandas. So those are the fun activities. Because there is long holiday, talking about holidays, there are official 10 holidays for government offices. In private offices, there are at least about 5 or 6 holidays and the gen is, if the, the gen is sandwiched between 2 weekends, it instantly becomes 10 days. Because the holiday is very long, some Buddhists really go to meditation centers where they can retreat themselves. And it's also a custom to celebrate New Year with no vacation ceremonies where parents put their son to temporary manhood and daughters to temporary nanhood. So it's not very uncommon to see bought people after the gen because they spend their holidays at monasteries. Because the basic value of the gen is all about doing good things for New Year, we usually make the gen traditional snacks and deliver to neighbors' houses. We make different kinds of snacks each day and share it with everyone we love. And it also symbolizes the unity and friendship because most of the snacks require teamwork. New Year Day itself, we usually go to pagodas, although it's super crowded, and every corner of the streets there are kind of donation for Sadhu Dita. Sadhu Dita, in fact, is a kind of donation where people treat food and drinks to whoever passes by for free. You can go to any Sadhu Dita station and get anything available without requiring any permission to sit in and enjoy. And as a good deed, people usually release animals such as birds, including sparrows fish and sometimes even cows. It's like freeing them up on New Year Day will make us peaceful throughout the year or something like this is what Myanmar Buddhists usually believe. And another good is, is like some of us go to elderly centers and help the elderly people there by doing things like cutting their knees, brushing their hair, paying homage to them. It's also a lovely traditional gesture. Nowadays, some water throwing pandas become like the club, I would say. Some youths are eager to drink and dance more than simply throwing water. And because the weather is too freaking hot, 
sun drink like her and sleep under the sunlight without share and die. Yep, and there are some drivers who drive the cars to tow around the pennies and drink. So apparently there are car accidents as well. But don't get discouraged because there are many ways to stay safe and enjoy the very unique atmosphere. I usually did go to water throwing pandas when I was in Myanmar and as you can see I'm still alive. So yep, happy Myanmar New Year to you guys and I honestly wish Myanmar would be more peaceful in the year 1375. Ta-da!